Good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a good day. We had another storm again today. We actually got some ice here. Sherman was looking out the window, and he's like, that ain't rain. It's coming down. That's ice balls. Because it's bouncing off the sidewalk. So. But I called um, Mom and my aunt, and it hadn't even rained down there where they live. They live in Ray. Hadn't even rained there. <clears throat> but, um, let's begin today's Bible reading with John 7, 1 through 30. Jesus decided to leave Judea and to start going through Galilee because the Jewish leaders of the people wanted to kill him. It was almost time for the festival of shelters, and Jesus' brother said to him, Why don't you go to Judea? Then your disciples can see what you are doing. No one does anything in secret if they want others to know about them, so let the world know what you are doing. Even Jesus' own brothers had not yet become his followers. Jesus answered, My time hasn't yet come, but your time is already here. The people of this world cannot hate you. They hate me because I tell them that they do evil things. Go on to the festival. My time hasn't yet come, and I am not going. Jesus said this and stayed on in Galilee. After Jesus' brothers had gone to the festival, he went secretly without telling anyone. During the festival, the Jewish leaders looked for Jesus and asked, where is he? The crowds even got into an argument about him. Some were saying Jesus is a good man, while others were saying he is lying to everyone. But the people were afraid of their leaders, and none of them talked in public about him. When the festival was about half over, Jesus went into the temple and started teaching. The leaders were surprised and said, How does this man know so much? He has never been taught. Jesus replied, I am not teaching something that I thought up. What I teach comes from the one who sent me. If you really want to obey God, you will know if what I teach comes from God or from me. If I wanted to bring honor to myself, I would speak for myself. But I want to honor the one who sent me. That is why I tell the truth and not a lie. Didn't Moses give you the law? Yet none of you obey it. So why do you all want to kill me? The, ca uh, the crowd replied, You're crazy. What makes you think someone wants to kill you? Jesus answered, I work one miracle and it amazed you. Moses commanded you to circumcise your sons. But it wasn't really Moses who gave you this command. It was your ancestors, and even on the Sabbath, you circumcised your sons in order to obey the law of Moses. Why are you angry with me for making someone completely well on the Sabbath? Don't judge by appearances. Judge by what is right. Some of the people from Jerusalem were saying, Isn't this the man they want to kill? Yet here he is, speaking for everyone to hear, and no one is arguing with him. Do you suppose the authorities know that he is the Messiah? But how could that be? No one knows where the Messiah will come from, but we know where this man comes from. As Jesus was teaching in the temple, he shouted, Do you really think you know me and where I come from? I didn't come on my own. The one who sent me is truthful, and you don't know him. But I know the one who sent me, because I came from him. Some of the people wanted to arrest Jesus right then, but no one even laid a hand on him, because his time had not yet come. And that was John 7, 1 through 30. Now we're going to read Psalm 108, a song and a psalm by David. 
Our God, I am faithful to you with all my heart, and you can trust me. I will sing and play music for you with all that I am. I will start playing my harps before the sun rises. I will praise you, Lord, for everyone to hear. I will sing hymns to you in every nation. Your love reaches higher than the heavens, and your loyalty extends beyond the clouds. Our God, may you be honored above the heavens. May your glory be seen everywhere on earth. Answer my prayers and use my powerful arm to give us victory. Then the people you love will be safe. Our God, from your holy place you made this promise. I will gladly divide up the city of Shechem and give away Sakoth Valley piece by piece. The lands of Gilead, Gilead and Manasseh are mine. Ephraim is my war helmet and Judah is my symbol, a royal power. Moab is merely my wash basin, and Edom belongs to me. I shout with victory over the Philistines. Our God, who will bring me to the fortress or lead me to Edom, have you rejected us? You don't lead our armies. Help us defeat our enemies. No one else can rescue us. You are the one who gives us victory and crushes our enemies. And that was Psalm 108. Lastly for today, we're going to read Proverbs 15, 4. Kind words are good medicine, but deceitful words can really hurt. And that was Proverbs 15, 4. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a good night. And I hope you guys all have a great week. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.